Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. Uh, we got our efficiency modules. Uh, we got our speed modules. We are ready to create our Power Armor Mark II. Very, very, very welcome. Uh, let's see. Let's do some cleanup here. Uh, we have all these extra efficiency modules. Uh, let's just let's just recycle those. They're just gonna hang out in the. Uh, Hang out in the in the storage chests here forever. Might as well go ahead and get rid of those. Um, let's see, let's can probably take that sulfur on our way down. Uh, engines, stone, a lot of this stuff will probably be used elsewhere. Wooden boxes. Probably need to set those to be burnt. But uh, yeah, we've got our we've got our power armor Mark II. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. And uh, let's go ahead and put you on. Oh, extra inventory space. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's get you guys in there. And uh, we have so much room now. Uh, we need legs. We need all kinds of. We need all kinds of things. Uh, let's just recycle this old power armor. And um, let's see. What do we need? What do we need to get to? Um. Let's see, we probably need like two more Roboports, I would imagine. Um, some legs and at least another fusion reactor. Do we want one more? Maybe two more. I like having lots of those. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and situate out my armor here real quick. Um, I did flip over the module facilities to make... Um, to make productivity modules, but but uh, we, we don't have productivity module. We're falling really behind on science, which is something that I've never really said in a Factorio playthrough before. Um, and I think it's to do with all the extra science mods that we added. Uh, one of the advantages to, uh, let's, let's get that fixed. I'll put priority left. Uh, one of the advantages of having all that is um, that it really slows science down. And, and I mean, I say advantages because I actually do think it's kind of a good thing. Um, I always felt that science in this game was just, you know, kind of like an oversight. Uh, just kind of once you get it automated, it's like, yeah, I don't I don't care. Just just research something. That's why I think this auto research mod is so great. But we've actually fallen behind. Um, I had plans to do artillery. Uh, we can't. I I had I'd had plans to do all this stuff. We can't. We can't do any of it. We don't have the technology for it. Um, so I have uh, I've reverted uh, the science. I, I've given ourselves a, a little bit of priority where we're, we're actually going to, to to go for those, and uh, hopefully that will pop here soon, and we can start working on that. Um, the mod that I installed this time around, um, it's subtle. It's subtle, but it's it's really nice, especially in really kind of busy areas like this. It's called Almost Invisible Power Lines, and uh, it makes the power lines almost invisible. Let's uh, go ahead and just flip that off. It's it's subtle. It's it's really subtle, but it's really really good. Um, it, it was one of the things. Whenever I saw the mod, it, it was a problem that I didn't even know existed until I saw the mod. And now that I have it installed, I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so much better. So much better. Um, it, it makes it to where you don't have to be organized with your power lines. You can just place them down and they look good. So, yeah, um, that is our mod this time around. And uh, I am going to be sitting here just uh, whittling, uh, waiting for artillery to pop, as well as getting my armor all set up. So, yep, um, let's go ahead and roll the intro, and uh, I will see you when that is done. All right, artillery is on the way, and uh, I am working on my last energy shield. I went with this, uh, three roboports, uh, two legs, two personal laser defense, as well as three portable fusion reactors, and we're gonna put uh, one more energy shield in there. I, I went a little defensive this time around. I don't know why. Uh, probably might do with an extra robo port. Uh, we may actually flip that out at some point. I don't think I mentioned, I, I was looking back and uh, I, I don't think I mentioned the mod in the last <laughs> the last one, we missed it. Um, this is called uh, Gizmo's Car Keys. And uh, basically I used it a lot during the, um, 
the 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 kind of time lapse thing that I did and 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 found it extremely handy, um, especially for somebody like me who keeps losing my car. Uh, basically, all I need to do is uh, take my car keys once I've associated these keys with a car, and boom, there it is, right there. It just teleports it, and it's got all its ammo, it's got all its fuel, and everything. I I don't think that I mentioned as well. Um, the reason why um, I, I I don't have the hit counter anymore. Um, that was that was a mod, uh, the totally awesome driver mod. Uh, whenever I tried to reload a game with it installed, it it just it just died. Um, it wouldn't it wouldn't load the game until I disabled the mod. So we're gonna leave that one off. And uh, yeah, I completely forgot to even talk about 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 Gizmo's car keys. And uh, I feel I feel I feel foolish. But um, it's a cool mod. I, I really like it. Especially for me, uh, somebody like me who likes to to forget about their car keys all or their car where it's at all the time. Um, it's kind of something that I do. Um, I went ahead and uh, upgraded some of the blue circuits. Uh, it's starting to look a, a little better down here. We don't quite have the productivity modules yet. I would like to get those here soon, but science is um, just kind of creeping along at the moment. Uh, battery production is still not great. I'm kind of like, eh, do we want to do something about it? And uh, we may we may get there someday, but I think for right now, I think for right now, I'm kind of good with the way it's at. All right, uh, another energy shield. All right, um, I'm I'm feeling pretty pretty powerful right now. Um, while we're sitting here waiting for artillery to artiller, uh, I wanna I wanna address a couple of things that that are happening right now. I think we're getting a little bit of a bottleneck here uh, on the plastic production, and it has to do with coal. So I think I want to do something about that, and I think we can do something about that just by getting some of our our newer our newer belt. Um, let's see, can we get? Yeah, let's go ahead and get some of this blue stuff, and uh, let's come over here to upgrade planner, and let's say we want to do the red stuff. We want to upgrade that to blue stuff. All right, and hopefully that will be good. Uh, and let's go ahead and upgrade this um, coal place right here, so that it's just it's just spitting out to a a blue belt. Um, I'm not sure that that is necessary anymore. I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, and let's let's just upgrade all of this to blue. And that should get the coal out faster. We're taking, we're taking, we're basically taking um, two red belts of coal and splitting those into three belts of coal. And uh, that doesn't work uh, mathematically. But uh, this works out a little bit better. So a a blue line is a, a blue line okay so a red line is uh, it has the throughput of two yellow lines and a blue line has the output of three so two blue lines should be the equivalent of six um six yellow lines or three red lines so this the math on this should work out as long as we can get a train populating it fast enough um, this blue, two blue belts here should split evenly into these three. And, um, that will keep those lines full, and it should make this go a lot faster. wonder, can we do an output priority left on that? And basically not... Yeah, that'll that'll put priority on plastic. Granted, that's gonna stop all of smelting, but that should fill up soon, right? And then once that fills up, the remainder of it will go to smelting. Right now, I just want I want plastic filled up with with glorious glorious coal, 
so that we can um, start our our can we keep our, our red circuit production up and I think we may need some plastic uh, later on for some artillery stuff let's see is that true uh, let's see I know we need explosives do we have explosives we do um, explosives and it seems like we need cannon shells they require plastic Hmm. I don't remember. Um, yes, explosive cannon shells. So they, they do require plastic. What else do they require? Steel. All right. Um, well, we can go ahead and prep for that. Let's go ahead and run this plastic line on down. Steel lines already down here already. I see these little construction bots go by in the corner of my eye, and I'm thinking, oh no, biters! But I think we should be fairly biter clear in here from now on. I haven't checked on the progress of the wall in a while, and I, I never went and put radar on it. Um, still on the to-do list, but... Um, all right, there is artillery. Yeah, let's yeah, let's just go to map view and take a look up here on how that is doing. Did that ever balance out? Kind of. Hmm. Yeah, we probably want to go ahead and take that priority off now. But um, boy, that's that's looking a lot better on the plastic front. All right, do we have some assembling machines? I think we do, yes. Um, I think we need chemical plants as well. I don't know if we have those. Uh, let's see, chemical plants right here. And yeah, I think, that, I think that'll get us started. All right, so artillery shells, explosives, um, radar, and explosive cannon shells. Uh, plastic, steel, and explosives. So it looks like explosives is what we need. Coal, sulfur, and water. We have coal here. Uh, sulfur will make on site, and uh, as well as water. We will already have that there. Here's another nice big demand to put on our coal. So, sulfur is water and petroleum. I think one place should be good for that. Um, you're made in a chemical plant as well. You need coal, uh, sulfur, and water. So let's grab a couple of chemical plants. Where did they go? Where have they gone? I know we grabbed them. There we go. And yeah, let's put you there. Let's go ahead and just get rid of rocks. All right, you make that. You make that. You know what? I seem to recall that we actually want more. Let's go ahead and make... Let's do it like this instead. Uh, you need one sulfur every five seconds. You make two sulfur every one second. Sulfur every five seconds, you make two. Oh, 
hold on. Two sulfur every one second. So in five seconds, you're making 10, and you need one. And we could do a lot more. Let's, let's just start with two, and we'll see how far that gets us. We don't need this continually making. It's, it's not a continuous thing, so uh, let's see. Let's bring water in on the bottom, uh, petroleum in on the top. In this sort of fashion. Okay, that that should get that. Uh, what else do you need? You need coal. And uh, let's see, how do we want to do that? I think I'd like to take it up top here. Be the way I would like to do it. Will that work? I think so. I think that'll be just fine. And you guys spit out onto a belt. And let's see, the next one in line is going to require explosives, steel, and plastic. So if we had a line of steel and plastic coming here. And what is the last thing? 15 seconds, you need four explosive shells. In 15 seconds, you can make almost two. Something like this right here. You're going to take from there. You're going to take from there. And take from there and go out a box. That's going to need to be a requester chest where we put radar in it. And um, let's see, I think I think that works. I think that works. We just need steel and plastic on this line. Now you're gonna go to the out and do like this little thing right here. Output priority left. All right, I think I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, we just need uh, some coal here. That's gonna be on this line. And uh, let's see, then this line right here, which is going to be steel. And um, steel and plastic. Coal. Coal, steel, plastic. Okay, power lines, power lines, power lines. Let's get a power line there. Power line. The 
safety. You claim to be out of robot range. That should fix that. Okay, there's explosives. You guys are going, and then that just means that. All right, so we need some requester chests. That shouldn't be a thing. Let's see, do we have any down here? Um, no, just, just providers. Let's just go ahead and grab a stack of them. You never know when you're going to need some. And, um, let's see. We do have radar in here being made, and yes, they are covered. How much does a artillery train... Let's see, is that under logistics? Yeah, there we go. It's a lot of engines. All right, this isn't going to be... This isn't going to be too bad. We will have that up and running in no time. All right, let's just make it all the way down here. Uh, we need uh, our requester chest coming in like that. We want you to request radar and uh, 50, I don't know, maybe 30. That'll be good. And let's see, how is this going here? Yeah, looks like we need looks like we need some more. Looks like we're going to need some more explosives. Or I mean it might self-regulate. Uh once these back up, that'll get some going down there to the bottom line. No, that's silly. We definitely need more. Definitely need more. Should have done the math. Didn't do it. Uh, figured it would be cut and dry. But uh, we are starting to make artillery shells now, which is highly, highly, highly desirable. All right, well, I'll work out that math and uh, see how many of those. We may just need to, we may just need to double the explosives there. Uh, we might be able to fit... I don't know. I don't know how that'll work, <laughs> but um, that'll that'll be fine. Well, um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where um, I do math better. All right. Have a good one.